roller coaster of emotions. It's a journey. Hey everyone, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about books that take place during the war between France and England. This is post-revolutionary war, early 1800s kind of time period. It's called the Napoleonic Wars because Napoleon was involved. The reason I'm talking about these wars is because I read a lot of Regency era stories, specifically Regency romance, historical fiction romance in that time period. And a lot of these stories have to do with people who are soldiers, who have been involved in the war, who are away at war, who are recovering from war. And I thought, why not make a compilation of all these different books? So, starting off, here we go. Number one, A Spy's Devotion by Melanie Dickerson. This is a story about a soldier who gets injured on the battlefield. He gets sent home to England to kind of recoup. One of his soldiers, or fellow soldiers, ends up getting injured. I think he passes away. He has this coded diary that he's like, it's my last wish, please dude, take this home to England. So he takes his diary home, it's coded, and he realizes as he's breaking the codes, he's kind of involved with some espionage kind of stuff. He's out at society events and he meets this woman who's like catching his eye. As they get to know each other, he's realizing that the coded diary casts some suspicions on her guardian and makes him kind of wonder, is she involved? Is she a possible like victim to some sort of something that's going on? So then this whole little thing, adventure un unfurls. It's a fun thing to see and watch it play out. I really enjoyed this book. I read a little while ago, but I rated it four stars and definitely recommend checking out if you are interested. Next we have one of my favorite authors, Sarah Eden. One of my favorite series by her is the Jonquil Brothers series. So this is a family of seven brothers and many of them have occupations that are involved with the war. So the oldest brother ends up being a spy undercover in England. So that's the oldest brother, number one. Number five, he is away at war. He is a soldier who was injured at one of the Napoleonic battles and is sent home to recoup. And number five is about his story. Book number four, we have a young Spanish woman who ended up being an undercover spy during her time in Spain before she escaped from Spain due to dangers with her espionage kind of stuff going on. So she escapes to Spain, to England, how they meet. And then their story unfurls. It's a really, really interesting story. In case you're wondering, these are all fantastic stories. Sarah Eden is awesome. Next we have The Captain's Daughter. This was a really interesting merge between historical fiction and musical theater. Me, who loves musical theater so much, was like, oh, this is cool. It was a neat tie-in. In this series, there are three books, three sisters. It's about the oldest sister who ends up traveling from the orphanage she grew up in the countryside to the center city of London. And she ends up being involved with theater for Gilbert and Sullivan. So Gilbert and Sullivan are creating their musicals and we get to see her experience of meeting these two real life men who are in this fictional story. It's just a creative look into what musical theater was like at the time, how theater was perceived and the people who were in the theater were perceived by the general community, which was not looked upon. They were not looked upon kindly outside of the theater. They were looked upon as very scandalous. So it's very interesting to see that kind of end of things. And then of course this is a romance. So our gentleman is an injured soldier. I want to say he's an injured to his wrist and recovering in London working at the theater because his brother was injured on the job and he moves the sets and the backdrops and does the heavy lifting kind of stuff. They start to fall for each other but he thinks he's going back to war so he's trying not to get too attached. So it's interesting to see how that story unfolds. And I will say that their love story resolves at the end of the first book, but there is an overarching theme that carries over through the other two as well. Next we have The Painter's Daughter. This is about a woman who ends up falling for this traveling painter. They have a whirlwind romance and then he kind of moves on and then she realizes that she's with child. His older brother ends up traveling by kind of trying to track down his brother when he realizes that his brother's ex is with child, that he takes responsibility. It turns into a forced marriage or marriage of convenience, really. He takes her home to his family and he goes off to war. She's kind of finding her own way forward during uncertain times. Affections grow between the two of them while he's away. A love triangle with the younger brother. If you've ever seen Sabrina with Audrey Hepburn or the remake with Harrison Ford, it definitely gives you like that kind of vibe where it's like a girl between caught between two brothers. Interesting kind of love triangle there. Roller coaster of emotions. It's a journey. 
if that sounds like your cup of tea, then definitely recommend it. Last but not least, we have Loving Lieutenant Lancaster. She creates really compelling stories with great characters that you just like get attached to emotionally. And this is part of another series that she has of the Lancaster family. The Lancaster family is five, six children, five children, six children, one of whom dies in the war and his twin brother is Linus. These children are named after Greek mythologies because their father was a college professor who loved Greek mythology. So it's really interesting in each of the books how their myth of their name kind of plays into their story in some way or another. This is also a crossover between the Lancaster and the Shankle Brothers series. So I highly recommend reading others before you get to this one if you're interested. If not, it's still an amusing and entertaining read highly recommend them. They're fantastic series. So that wraps up my video about Napoleonic War stories between France and England. It gives us a glimpse into what it was like for people at the time. I always feel like even if it's just a small little nugget of something new, there's always something to learn from stories like this. Many of these authors research very thoroughly what it was like for people at the time period. The the circumstances and the clothing and the social parameters of the time are accurate so they can portray that clearly in their books. So I do feel like even just little stuff like that you can pick up on and, and learn something new, which I think is really cool. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope that you enjoyed this list. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of them. Give this video a like or a subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching. I'll be bringing more lists to you soon of more books that take place during battles and wars and keep this trend going. I hope you enjoyed this list. I hope you find a book that brings some sunshine to your day and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.